Glacier National Park Conservancy. Protecting Glacier National Park for future generations. Good evening and welcome to our annual Backpackers Ball, coming to you virtually for the second year in a row. I'm Doug Mitchell and I have the great privilege of serving as the Executive Director of the Glacier National Park Conservancy. And I'm joined tonight by Pete Webster, the acting superintendent of Glacier National Park. We're excited to spend the evening with you and to celebrate our shared love for Glacier National Park. It's been remarkable for me to see the impact of the Conservancy's work firsthand, from the innovative research projects on bears, goats, and lynx, to the new and exciting Headwaters podcast. Your contributions have not only helped preserve the park, but improve the way visitors experience the special place. Not all national parks have this kind of collaborative relationship with their nonprofit partner, so I'm very thankful for the Conservancy's unwavering commitment and generous donations during this unprecedented time. My team and I gather uh, strength from each of you in your steadfast support. Together tonight, with over 600 of you joining from across the country, we can write the next incredible chapter in this amazing partnership. Be sure to check out our great silent auction items, get ready to bid on our incredible featured auction packages, or simply make a difference by donating at backpackersball.com. Now, let's set a new record for the impact this one night can make on the future of the place we love, Glacier, Glacier National, National Park. Park. Hi, I'm Amy Lucky, donor engagement lead at the Glacier Conservancy. Earlier this week, we released a number of incredible auction items, and the bids you've already made are helping to preserve and protect Glacier National Park for future generations. Among those items are four exclusive, one-of-a-kind, featured auction packages available for you to bid big on tonight at backpackersball.com. You don't want to miss this. Hello, I'm Renee Metcalf, Associate Director of People and Culture at the Glacier Conservancy. And like many of you, I am passionate about the unique history of the chalets in Glacier Park. Um, I had the distinct privilege of working at Sperry Chalet for 10 seasons, and I witnessed firsthand the transformative experiences people had staying overnight in Glacier's backcountry and having the opportunity to hike to the Sperry Glacier Basin. As many of you know, on the evening of August 31st, 2017, the Sprague fire burned Sperry's dormitory. Following the fire, all that remained were the four exterior stone walls of the structure. 
And losing that historic building was like losing the matriarch of our Chalet family. But in the days to follow, generous donors to the Glacier Conservancy provided funding for 116 foot support beams, which were used by Park Service construction crew to stabilize the rock walls before winter settled in. These incredible stabilization efforts saved those original walls and allowed reconstruction to begin the following summer. After two fast and furious summers of reconstruction, and thanks in large part to your support of this very action fund, the dormitory building has been rebuilt and is once again hosting overnight guests, which is truly remarkable. Several of those support beams used in the 2017 stabilization efforts have been reclaimed to construct a beautiful one-of-a-kind bench that you have the opportunity to take home and cherish forever. A big thank you to our friends at MKM Reclaimed in Whitefish for designing and constructing the bench. And now get ready to bid often and bid high to own a little piece of Glacier Park history. Hey everybody, Ken Yaris here. Thanks for coming out and being a part of this event. Even if it's from your homes, wherever it is, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for supporting Glacier Park. My offering for the Backpackers Ball is going to be a workshop offered in Glacier Park with me and up to three of your friends. You can come along and I'll bring all the supplies we need. We're gonna go out and paint for a day and you get to keep the demo piece that I've completed. So come be a part of that, bid high, and as always, Glacier Love. Hi, I'm Christine Carbo. If you'd read my book, Mortal Fall, you'll know that much of the action revolves around the loop trail here in Glacier Park. My love for Glacier Park has been a lifetime in the making, and I would like to invite you and some friends to hike with me and the Conservancy's Executive Director, Doug Mitchell, to support the important work of the Glacier National Park Conservancy. I was lucky enough to grow up here in the Flathead Valley, and it's an honor for me to give back to a place that has given so much to me and my family. So we'll find a date that works for you this summer or next, and we'll hike the High Line Trail from Logan Pass. The Conservancy will provide transportation to Logan Pass, lunch at Granite Park Chalet, and a ride back from the loop for you and up to four guests. I'll provide autographed copies of all four of my novels to each member of the group. The books take place in and around our beloved park. I look forward to sharing what I know will be a special day together in a very special place, all for a great cause. I hope you'll bid early, often, and generously. Just go to backpackersball.com to register and bid. Thank you.
in life that leave a lasting impression, like the feeling of movement as a new journey begins, or the sight of soft fur warmed by the morning sun. You might remember new flavors, the sound of an old friend's laugh, or a view that defies all expectations. These are the memories that stay with you long after the moments have passed. Rocky Mountaineer, all aboard amazing. Thank you so much for bidding on both our silent and featured auction packages and for continuing to do so throughout the evening. I'm joining you now from one of my very favorite places in Glacier National Park, the Burton K and Lulu Wheeler cabin on the North shore of Lake McDonald. For some of us, our families have been coming to Glacier for decades, while others are just beginning to explore the wonders of Glacier for the very first time. But what will this place we love look like for future generations? Our actions today will affect this magnificent park for years to come. And that's why the programs and projects funded through your contributions to the Glacier Conservancy are so important. Our goal tonight is to raise $250,000, and I just know that we can do it. No matter how long you've been visiting Glacier, you can help protect this special place that unites us all. The forests, the lakes, the wildlife, the mountains, the wildflowers and the rivers, they belong to all of us. And we play a vital role in protecting them. So if you love Glacier, it's time to make a plan to donate. Every gift, no matter the size, makes a difference and donating couldn't be easier. Just click on the donate button to make your gift right now. We couldn't do this important work without you. Thank you again for your unwavering support, and I hope to see you on the trails again soon.
Doug Mitchell here again. You know, our evening together is not done yet. At backpackersball.com, you'll find three seven-minute videos featuring important conservancy-funded projects, projects about the wilderness, wildlife, and wonder that make Glacier a treasure worth protecting. So before you make a final decision about your gift tonight, please take a look. I think you'll find inspiration in the work being done by our extraordinary park partners. Thanks again and have a great night. Thank you.